Hello and welcome back to Chatterbox uh, and I'm coming to you today from the bench having been to the Avon show yesterday so IPMS Avon the club down near Bristol put on a show every year and I have to say as a regional show it is very much one of the absolute best ones going it's really really big lots of traders lots of exhibitors lots of clubs and uh, lots of public lots and lots of people go it's, it is a really good show uh, and one which I do enjoy and uh, this time yesterday uh, myself and some of the guys from the Bryce Norton Scout Modelling Club attended and displayed and it was their first time displaying so that added a, a fresh twist to it for me because obviously I've done it a few times before. But yeah, thanks very much to the IPMS Avon for hosting that and for actually for sorting us out table. Very short notice in the end. I did obviously pick up a few odds and sods. I'm just going to show them to you quickly. Um, first and foremost, a bit of this stuff, EMA Plastic World. Um, I buy this because it's cheap I'm not gonna lie uh, it's just the same as any other liquid cement honestly but this big bottle here 57 millilitres of the stuff costs £4.50 it costs £4.50 from the store I got it from uh, whereas the extra thin costs four ninety nine. yeah I can't find anywhere where it says what size these jars are but I don't think there's as much in these and they actually cost more than that and all I do to be honest is when this starts to run low I just top it up with this or whatever other liquid cement I've happened upon in the meantime so that's so that's that I've also picked up a few of these SMS acrylic lacquers I think these have come from Australia of all places um, they're £5.99 a jar so they're not the cheapest it's pre-thinned ready for use in your airbrush um, yes, there's, an, a, there's a kangaroo on it, so it's definitely Australian. Uh, I got these from Froome Model Centre and I just picked up a couple of relevant colours. So I've run out of RLM 75 thanks to using what I had left to mix up my version of Have Glass. And I noticed that SMS do have glass as well, so I picked a bit of that up because I do have a Tamiya one to do. Um, haven't tried these yet, I'll probably do a little review when I do. I suspect and all the feedback I've had suggests that they're basically very much like Mr Paint which is a good thing because uh, they're a bit easier to get hold of bizarrely. I also picked these up this is something you never thought you needed and you probably don't my current brush that I use for dry brushing looks like this it's basically just a, a, an old flat brush that over time relatively stiff bristles uh, which over time has become it's done that uh, and this is what I generally use for dry brushing or I have another one that's slightly smaller and I saw this yesterday um, an ab tiling dry brushing brush as you can see it's £3.90 and it's just a ready made it's quite soft dry brushing brush and I thought why not I'll give it a look I'll give it a go I don't do that much dry brushing anymore but you know give it a look £3.90 is not a huge investment after all said and done uh, and I grabbed some paintbrushes too um, Genesis cry for help time these were nine quid for three which isn't terrible I did pick up some ab tiling brushes the other week as well I really struggle to find paintbrushes that last any amount of time these do look nice they've got the synthetic bristles um, but you know clearly AK don't make them they'll just be something that they get rebranded re but I really struggle to find brushes that will keep a point for any length of time at all they always end up with this sort of the bristles at the end sort of hook over um, and at that point they become next best thing to use for detail paintings if anybody has got any brush care tips or can recommend a paintbrush which doesn't do that I'm all ears, let me know in the comments. Um, and of course, you can't really go to a model show, it seems, well I can't anyway, without accidentally buying a couple of kits, and that was the case yesterday. I finally picked up one of these. Um, I did have a, I did do a review, a quick snip actually, on the Airfix Mozzie when it came out. This is the 72nd one, of course. Um, but I gave that kit away, in a giveaway. If whoever won that is watching, please let us know how you're getting on with it. But they've since re-released it in this 
photo reconnaissance form I believe it's exactly the same plastic parts but you get some different um, marking options there we go and the one of particular interest believe it or not is this American one because uh, I do think that the US marked photo reconnaissance mosquitoes look excellent um, and I always wanted to do the 48th kit in the US markings I never did. The other one you get is um, a, a South African Air Force bird with a stripy fin. Very nice. Do you get a decal for that stripy fin? Yes you do. And a couple of um, a few bits of decal style PRU blue there as well on the sheet so I'm sure quite sure this will be up to the standards we're starting to expect from our fix now but I have been looking for this for a while and I did get this a really good price from Andy at Antics Andy pretty much goes to most of the bigger UK shows it's a great way to support him is to pop down to those shows and grab some stuff he always has good prices too I got this for 20 English pounds yesterday which I'm relatively happy with I struggled to bring myself to pay the retail price which is 27 it so although that is beginning to start to look cheap at this point the other thing I picked up is this Wingsy I've not seen a Wingsy kit before and I'm going to do a little bit of basic research into the company before I do do you a proper inbox review of this but just quickly look look at the art I mean you've got to love these Swiss 109s anyway <laughs> just so cool you get a few different options in there it's your typical Ukrainian box these are a Ukrainian manufacturer where you've got a sort of a cheap flimsy colourful box that covers up a nice generic sturdy brown card box flip top and also in typical Ukrainian style seemingly there doesn't <laughs> the box is a lot bigger than it needs to be but just on first glance the, the surface finish and detail on these parts is nothing short of spectacular I wasn't planning to buy this I have at least four more 109s in the, snash, in the stash than I really need 109s aren't a, a big favourite for me at all and I've already built a couple um, but I looked at it and I just well it's, it looks stunning, absolutely stunning. So you get two packets of sprues there. You get a nice accessory pack here. Decal sheet, masks and photo etch. Some canopies and obviously instructions and whatnot. And as I say, I'll bring you a proper inbox of this in due course. But it looks absolutely stunning. I mean really, if you... If you look at some plastic parts and instantly decide you need to have the kit, that's that's a good sign that it looks good. Um, this was £32 on the day, and again, a huge thanks to Andy uh, for helping me out with these. Um, and then, yes, the last reason for this, just a quick, very quick uh, chatter box, is I'm off out of the country again, I'm going away for the week with my daughter, um, so potentially maybe won't be any content next week or at least it will be late just to let you know that, that that's the case uh, and everything's fine I have finished the Italian F35B and those of you that at the show yesterday will have seen it uh, you will be getting both a bare naked build video and a finishing the bare naked build video two separate videos on that coming up um, and I have also got rolling on that Arm oh, Hobby Hurricane for you because a lot of people said they wanted to see that. So yeah, that's it for me for now. I will see you in a week or so. So for now, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the support as always. And that only leaves me to say, look after yourselves, look after each other and Genesis out.